If you want to take your service-based business to the next level, look no further because in this video, I'm going to walk you through seven Canva tips that will allow you to create stunning designs for your service-based business to elevate your brand without breaking the bank and attract more of the clients you love working with. Let's jump in. The first thing that you'll want to do is sign up for a Canva account if you don't already have one. Uh, as you can see, I have a pro account here and I'm signed up already. Uh, and I'm already logged in. So once you sign up and log in, you can just type in uh, website uh, templates here. And this is going to bring you up tons of different templates that you could use for uh, your website. Now, you can um, basically scroll through and you can see that we have all of these here. Um, this is actually one I used in the past. Uh, I just want to show you guys maybe something that's like simple and easy that you can kind of basically plug and play without needing a bunch of content. So let's see here if I'm looking for something that's like a service based website, like I'm a web designer or something like that. This template looks really nice. Uh, maybe I do custom homes or something like that. So I would just click customize this template and then it will take me to uh, basically the multi-page website layout. So if I uh, just click off this really quick, just to kind of give you the full screen, you can see that there is um, a multiple you know, pages for the website. This is the home page. You have your kind of hero image in the back here. This is where your logo in the name of your company would go. And then you have the about page, pretty straightforward services. Um, and then you have, I guess this is kind of like maybe more like a, like a highlight. Then you have your customers. You, you can have testimonials here and things like that. And then pictures. And then, of course, your address, location, phone number. This is super easy to edit um, if I wanted to come in here and change the name of, you know, like maybe, you know, what we talk about, uh, I can say. Um, better custom home designs. So I'm, I'm making all of this up, right? So, but this is, you know, you know, maybe something that you can, you know, think about a little bit more. Maybe you take this from your existing websites and then this would be, you know, the name of, you know, my, my company, let's say I'm a custom design, uh, Homes, maybe we call ourselves um, uh, New City Homes. New City Home. Okay, so that's where I would change that. If I wanted to change the logo, I could uh, basically do that here. I could delete that. Uh, if I wanted to keep that, I could keep it there. Um, and then if I wanted to, you know, like, like change out these pictures, I can add my own images by uh, basically uploading the image here and maybe placing that there. Uh, maybe doing the same here. Just showing you that how easy it is to interchangeably take those things out. And then uh, I could do the same here. I could take out these images. I could replace these images. I could just easily go to my uploads. Obviously this uh, isn't, you know, my, my service per se, but you know, uh, maybe this is just an Instagram uh, that's probably not a good one. Maybe put a picture of myself as the founder. If I wanted to kind of change where that, you know, you know, where that showed up, I can just double click on that and it'll move the frame of what's being captured. So maybe that's me, um, the, as the founder, if I wanted to change the customer testimonials, I can go in here and, uh, change that it was great working with Vernon and his team at City Homes. So I could easily go ahead and, uh, you know, make this, uh, you know, edit any of the uh, testimonials for my satisfied customers. And then I can go in here, I can change my email, uh, just like I've changed all the other texts. So let's just say this is something that I was happy with. 
um, and I was ready to, you know, to just preview what it looks like. I'd click this preview button here. It'll show me a, a version without navigation at the top. And then I can select if I want it with navigation. So, um, this is the one with navigation. And as I scroll down, you can see here, um, the images, you can see, uh, everything has been updated that we changed from the template is there. If I wanted to go back to the without more modern, clean, uh, look here. And then if I wanted to view this on, let's say a, a mobile device, I can see what it looks like on mobile. Um, it still looks pretty clean. You know, nothing crazy. This is just a basic website, right? Um, definitely something, uh, that gets you, uh, you know, uh, in the game or at least having something that's more modern. And, uh, if I go to click publish here, um, this will publish my website. I can go here and, uh, publish it to a domain or I can use the Canva free domain. Um, I can purchase a domain here. I can use an existing domain. There's a whole process that they'll take you through, right? You know, for example, if I have an existing domain, I'll basically, um, put that in here. If I had a, if I, uh, and then I'll select it from the drop dropdown. Uh, you'll want to make sure you follow all the instructions because this is kind of like a, a more tedious process, but it's definitely easier than like a WordPress. If you've ever used WordPress or anything like that, um, you'll be pretty familiar with th these, um, you know, these steps for kind of registering your domain. And uh, I'm a big fan of Namecheap. I'll link them below. That's where most of my domains have come from. Um, but yeah, this is a really cool, um, opportunity for you to just make a quick website that's low budget. Um, you know, that's no budget if you have Canva, um, and you know, get you in the game or just kind of bring you up to speed with what's more modern. So, um, that's going to be the website feature, um, that you can tap into that Canva has. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you is social media posts. Now, Obviously, if you're a, if you're a uh, business owner, you know, specifically a service-based business owner, you know that having a social media presence is key. If you don't know, then uh, you better start working on that because likely when our customers find us, they find us on the internet. So um, the next thing I'm going to do is either click here and go to social media or just type in social media. Can't spell the day social media templates. Um, and that's going to take me to all the social media templates here. So, um, again, I'm mainly looking for something that is going to, you know, you know, draw in my customers, um, you know, on the theme of custom homes, it looks like maybe this is a theme that we can use. I can, um, just preview this if I wanted to, um, and then I can see, oh, there's, there's some pretty good examples, um, of more like this. I can choose, um, a minimalist kind of feel if I want, um, not really feeling that. So I'm going to go back. Uh, I, I, I think this is pretty solid for what we're going for. So I'm going to click that. And then I'm going to customize this. So there's a lot of different things that I can do. I'm going to just actually zoom in here really quick. So find your dream home. Um, maybe I'll change this to like, uh, you know, uh, build, build your dream home because that resonates more with, you know, based on the example, city homes. New city homes. Um, and then I can basically, you know, change out these images. Maybe these are images from houses that we have. I don't have any pictures of how of homes, but if I did, uh, you know, I would simply go and upload those and add those here. Pretty, uh, simple and straightforward. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and add those back in. Now, if I wanted to do something where I like, let's say I duplicated this post and, um, I maybe wanted to switch the background image. 
and maybe I wanted to change the color on this. Maybe I wanted to be more of like a blue to pop a little bit. Um, and then I'd maybe go to my uh, designs and I will go to homes and I'll do a search for homes and see what comes up. It looks like maybe realtor. No, we don't want that. I think homes is better. So we'll go back to homes and you can see here there's, there's images of homes. These are more, it doesn't seem like that's exactly what I'm looking for. So maybe I will go to See if they have some different ones under elements. Okay, perfect. So just went to elements, found some photos of homes. Like, look at that. That's beautiful. So maybe that's the new background that I use. I'm going to drag that over here. Doesn't look like it's catching. So, okay, there we go. So you kind of have to drag it and make sure you're, you're in a, you're, 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 you're lining it up just right. And then I'm just going to make sure I like that. It feels like it looks a little pixelated. Let me zoom in. Yeah. See how that looks super pixelated. I don't like that. So I'm going to maybe swap that out with something else. Um, let's see. How would this look? Um, is that better? think that's better yeah I like that I like the vibe of that uh, looks more of like a like kind of like a country home maybe like in the suburbs right kind of has that suburb feel right so I can I can sub these out too if I wanted to to put other homes there maybe I'll do something like that maybe I'll do some interior shots so people can get a a, a nice you know look of the, the interior what that would potentially look like not really feeling this one, so I'm going to take that out and maybe drop this one in there. And now we got three clean um, images that we are able to add. We have two uh, really social media posts. We could use this on Facebook. We can use this on Instagram. Um, we could use this basically, you know, anywhere um, on social media. And then we can say book now, right? We can change the call to action to... Um, uh, reserve maybe that's too long but like uh, call maybe call now so I can change that instead of book now I can change this one to call now I can bold it I can you know maybe put a little bit more emphasis on the text um, looks like drop that down a little bit I can change my website here I can change my phone number So then my phone number is there and people can just call and I can, you know, you know, add some other copy on here if I wanted to. But this looks pretty straightforward for me. I can also duplicate this one. Let's say I wanted to keep that background, but maybe I wanted to switch up the colors a little bit. Maybe I want to throw in, um, I guess that's more of like a, a, a brown, a light brown. Um, that kind of gives me a little bit more to play with and I can do this infinite. In, into infinity right um, I can keep changing the colors if I wanted to have a different post for different days of the week you know I could do that maybe that uh, color isn't you know the most ideal maybe that yellow pops a little bit more so you can see I just took one design and made three separate um, Facebook you know Instagram wherever you want to put these social media posts so that's one thing that you can definitely be using Canva for if you're a business owner. Um, the one thing that I want to let you guys know, if you see this little pro icon here, that means these images are only for the pro version. So you'll definitely want to upgrade to the pro version after you've used the free version. If you you know, want to take advantage of the full benefits, you don't have to have the um, paid version. I'm sorry, the, the pro version to use um, Canva, but it's definitely going to give you more access to some of the cooler tools. So now that we have done the website, we've done the social media posts, let's, uh, let's, let's jump over back to the home and, and look at video. 
because video is um, definitely something that uh, is is really taking over the game in terms of marketing your service based business over the last couple of years with the advent of you know short form video TikTok. Uh, Instagram reels like you just have to kind of be doing you know video at this point so um, I'm gonna click on the videos button here and this is gonna bring up a whole slew of options for me with video so Instagram reels TikTok, Facebook video um, YouTube videos ads you know uh, uh, collage LinkedIn ads I mean there's tons of different templates here that you could use um, so for the purposes of this let's just create a TikTok. Uh, and use this based on you know a template obviously if you wanted to create something more custom based on you being on camera or the being the face of the brand you could do that but in this case we're just gonna uh, basically you know find something that we feel like resonates with uh, our business and then we're going to um, leverage that so I think this is perfect because it's obviously a home um, and then it looks like it's let me zoom in here it looks like it's five easy and cheap de home decorating ideas. So this is pretty cool. Um, it looks like it's within the range of uh, under 60 seconds. So that's good. It's 14.9 seconds. If you see here, I'm going to hit the play button and just see what this looks like. So it has a nice kind of panning across the room theme. And yeah, so you 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 obviously um, you don't have you know the the five things here, but you could put those in the description of like your TikTok, right? Um, the idea is to capture somebody's attention and to essentially make them click, right? To get them to pay attention to your other um, things in your feed, to get them to click back to your website, join your email list. So you could actually. Um, do a giveaway with this right you could say hey these are the if you want the five easy and cheap home decorating ideas you can say in the description you can give them um, maybe two or three and then you can say hey for the rest go to our website or for the rest opt in for this email um, giveaway um, and we'll give you the whole guide which that's something that you can design in canva too so this is really cool because um you know, it, it kind of, it's, it's a way to get eyeballs on your business. It's a way to get customers paying attention to your products and services by giving away like, you know, freemium content. So I could, um, if I wanted to change this, maybe I want, maybe I don't like the colors. Maybe I want to go with like an all black, um, go, uh, if I'm going to go all black there, maybe I want to change the text to white. I'll change this to white as well. Um, and then I'll, make this I'll make this black doesn't look like that okay so maybe I can't do this can that change to okay there we go um, so I have that as black now and I feel like that looks a little bit more elegant it makes the background pop a little bit more and um, if I wanted to edit this down maybe I'm like hey this is this is too long. I could just simply, um, maybe I will only want 10 seconds, right? So I can go to the 10 second mark. Um, where we go here, 10 seconds. And then I can just basically, uh, go to control split and then I can delete this. And then now I have a 10 second clip and it's shorter, which means, you know, people have shorter intention spans. Um, maybe they're willing to watch a 10 second, you know, um, TikTok versus a 16 second TikTok uh, with TikTok duration is a very important thing. Um, so like if the, the, the more that people consume uh, longer, the more that people consume your content for a longer period of time, if they finish the video, it's going to like show up more in the algorithm. So if I go ahead and hit play, here's what my video ends up looking like. Nice little pan across the room. And I like that. I can, I can rock with that. So I'm happy with, with that. Um, I think this is a good way for me to promote my 
uh, my service based home business, right? Custom cabinets, custom interior. Uh, I can put this on TikTok. I can put this on Instagram reels. I can put this on, um, you know, Facebook reels or whatever they have now. Um, so this is a great opportunity to promote my business. I'm happy with that. And the next thing I want to show you is business cards. Now I actually did a separate video that you can check out up here um, at the top or linked in the description where I created my, uh, my own business cards uh, for this imaginary uh, uh, design company. So it's called uh, Visible Demand. This is actually a template that I use. It was super easy to create. Um, I did, basically I just came in and put my, my picture here. I swapped out uh, the, the name of the, the brand that they had here, the company. I added my contact information. I added my location, my name, and you know what I do. I'm a web designer in this, uh, for the purposes of this example. Now, uh, the other thing I did was I uh, went to the back and I changed the colors. So originally, this, these weren't the colors. You know, I, I basically went ahead and, and, and changed these. So um, I can do that as well here if I wanted to kind of play around with the color scheme. I actually like that green. Pops a little bit more, stands out versus the dark um, green. But I like the contrast here, so I'll leave that. Um, and then I also showed you how to, you know, print these again, I don't, I, I don't want to go into too much detail here. I just want to show you that it's possible to, you know, create your own business card. Um, and again, you can see that video, um, here linked in the description where I walk you through the process of actually how I made this business card for my web design company. The next thing I want to show you is how to create email newsletters um, within Canva. So um, I'm going to go back to the home and then I'm just going to type in newsletter here. And I'm going to go to templates and then you can see here email newsletter. And this gives me some really awesome templates. I mean, you can't really ask for anything uh, much better than this. You know, you, you pretty much have it all at your fingertips. So uh, if I'm sticking with the theme of my home, custom home design, interior design, it looks like something like this um, could be fitting for what I'm looking for. So let me just go to customize. And then we're going to basically zoom in here and just kind of see, right? It's, you know, uh, I can change all of this. How to decide which house to buy. Maybe that's more of like how to decide um, if custom is right for you. So maybe that's uh, what I change here. Maybe drop that down a little bit more so it fits. I can change out all these images if I wanted to, um, as I've shown you in previous examples. I'll leave it for now. Um, and then I can make this a series, right? What's really cool is that, um, you know, this, I can, I can basically copy, I can duplicate this and I can just swap it out every month or every week, however long I'm, um, my, however, whatever cadence I'm using to send. I can also do the same here, right? Um, I can have people put in their email address, which is great because that's an email capture. You always want to be building your list. Something I personally do for my business because I believe in it. And um, it's a great way to stay in front of your customers and above the noise. And this is just a basic template. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and, and use this, I could uh, go ahead and download and share it um, and then use whatever email marketing service I'm using to, to basically import this and bring it into um, that service. But this is a great opportunity for you to create newsletters for your business without having to 
you know, hire a designer, or have somebody come in or do any heavy lifting. It's, it's, it's a pretty straightforward process. Um, the thing that you'd really just have to, um, be mindful of is, you know, will you be able to import this template into your, um, email marketing, um, tool that you're using, whether that's something like convert kit or whether that's active campaign or the, the many, the many other ones out there. Um, just want to make sure that it integrates with that and you're able to import, you know, the, the design or, you know, CCS and you're able to do that. So the next thing I want to show you is, uh, the Facebook, YouTube. So the next thing I want to show you is the banners. So if you, let's say you want to create a LinkedIn banner or a YouTube banner. This is a really cool template to be able to do that. Um, they have tons of different options here. Um, you know, something that exemplifies your business, something that's catchy, you know, maybe you can have a call to action in the headline. I actually like this one a lot. Um, it doesn't really have the house vibe to it right um, but let's just see if we can work with this one so immediately um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this out because that wouldn't resonate uh, maybe I'll put uh, customize custom interior Wow, I can't spell today. Interior. So I like that. I'm gonna just make that a little bit smaller. Maybe I have to move some things here because I don't wanna make it too small. Um, I still want to make sure that capture the essence of what we're trying to do here. So custom interior home design. We provide great, provide world class, baby. We world class. We provide world-class custom interior home design. Call us today and get started. All right, so I basically have taken, you know, the template, made it my own. Um, I like this, you know, this, this font, but if I wanted to change the font, I could maybe play around with the font as well. Um, let's see here. That looks a little bit more elegant, actually. Uh, maybe I'll bold it up. Increase the size a bit. Um... And now it looks like we're good. So one thing I would like to do is go back to those homes that I saw earlier under the elements. And I'll add some Im add an image or two of some home. Uh, a home. Uh, I think something like that maybe would be good. Oh, look at that. That looks really good. This is going to zoom in to see how that looks. I love that. Look, I don't even have to do too much. I like the yellow lighting in the house. Adds to the yellow banner. That's 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 pretty clean. That's pretty clean. See how impressive it is to do these kinds of things in Canva uh, when you're not even a designer. It's like you probably don't need a designer. Um, sorry, designers. <laughs> um, that's not true. You probably still need a designer, but you, you know, just to get started out of the box, right? This is really good. This is, you really can't go wrong with something like this. So if you wanted to add this to your LinkedIn page, you just simply, um, 
you can actually like link your LinkedIn profile here. Um, you can link to your LinkedIn page. I would just click download and then I'd go and upload it to my LinkedIn. I'm not going to do that for the purposes of this training. And um, yeah, so that's how you have a really cool, awesome banner for your custom interior home design company. How about that? Now, the next thing that we're going to talk about is logos. Now, I know a lot of you have uh, logos or you, you may be thinking of how to, how to design a logo. Well, one of the things uh, that you can also do in Canva is logo design. So I'm going to just go here and type logo. Um, and uh, it's going to give me a bunch of different options here. Um, immediately, I already see it, it. The Canva AI must be like kicking in because it's already giving me like homes. So I I really like um, I really like this one. I think that's something that we can work with. So I'm going to show you how to make a logo, you know, based on this template right here. So let's dig into that. Um, let's see the city city homes was our company name our so i'm just gonna city city homes uh take that space out of the back so i like the way that sits over top of the the the, the roof the letters here um, I don't like the colors and I'm gonna change this from real estate agency to custom uh, interior So that looks pretty clean. Uh, I'm not a fan of the brown though. So maybe I'll do, uh, how does white look on there? Uh, not the brown, not the brown. So maybe we'll go with that green. Um, I think we had a yellow. We had kind of like a yellow color in our last example when we had a blue. So maybe I'll go with something. Maybe I'll go with something like this. Um, I like two solid colors because uh, then you can't get too crazy with it. This would look good on a shirt as well. Um, and then if you zoom out, you can kind of see that you know, at the 10%, you know, um, at the 10% view, it's pretty tiny, but that's kind of like a favicon. A favicon is like the thing you see at the top of a URL in the corner. Um, so you probably wouldn't ever have it that small, but it'll probably more than likely be here. So like, can you still see it? It's a little tricky. So maybe I'll bump this up a bit. Um, I might need to center this, bring this up. I think I want to bring this up a bit and then I'll bring this up. So there's less space. Um, still feel like it's pretty solid on what it delivers. And if I zoom out, that looks pretty solid for a logo. So if I wanted to use this as a logo, Here's a cool thing that um, you may not know. I can hit um, download, but I can have a transparent version of this file, and then I can have, um, you know, a, a, a version that's not transparent. The key here, though, is going to be the pro version where you see the crown. Um, you know, that means that this is going to be a pro feature. Now, you can download this without having, you know, the the pro version but if you wanted to um change the for example if you wanted to change the the size right of the logo if you wanted to go from 15 the sorry 500 by 500 to a thousand by 1000 pixels 
that's going to be something that uh, you need the pro version for, I believe. Um, yeah, because you have that right here. Let's see, uh, and then transparent, compress file, save downloaded settings. So if I wanted to, I can also um, make this a, a JPG. Uh, I could make it into a document, a SVG, a SVG uh, for animations and things like that. So um, just something to keep in mind if you want to create a logo and you don't have a huge budget, this is something that you can totally do and um, doesn't take a lot of time. So the next uh, thing that I want to show you is the content calendar feature that's in Canva. So you may or may not know this, but there is a um, there is a basically a content calendar in Canva. So if I go to um, again, this is going to be a, a bonus. Uh, this is a paid uh, part of Canva, um, but if you go to the apps uh, and you click content calendar, you'll see here that I have essentially a calendar where I can um, create different things that I want to to basically go out. So as you uh, remember, we created this banner. It says, you know, convert these into Instagram business account, link these to the Facebook account. I could basically click this and then I can connect, could connect my Facebook accounts and then I could post, essentially use this to post, I'm not going to connect, but I can use this to post and schedule things to go live or to get published on those accounts, which is really cool because this is something that you would potentially pay, um, you know, you would pay, you know, 30 to upwards of 100 bucks, um, depending on your plan for a content publishing calendar. Um, so Instagram business, Facebook page, Twitter, Facebook groups, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Slack, Tumblr, I can do all of that. And where this really gets cool is where you can start using like quote templates and things like that. Uh, not so much with the banners of the logos, cause those things are pretty much static and they won't change. But, uh, if you want to do like more content, if you want to do um, promotions and things like that. This is where the content calendar will come in handy because it basically becomes your assistant and it's publishing content for you um, as long as you schedule it. So that's a bonus that I wanted to share with you um, that is really cool that you may not know about. Again, this is part of the paid version of, of Canva. Um, this won't be under the free version. Um, so all the more reason to Try out the free version and if you like it, upgrade. Now the last and final thing that I wanted to show you is uh, you know, the, the flyer, right? So a lot of times we wanna create business flyers for our company, maybe we're putting stuff out in the neighborhood, maybe there is a local coffee shop where they have the cork board and you're hanging stuff to promote you know, our services or what we're working on. And, um, you know, you can see tons of different awesome templates here where you can basically, um, uh, create, you know, flyer for your business. So you can see here, these are, uh, more real estate focused, right? Um, I like this one. So I'm going to go ahead and click customize and then it's going to take me to the template. I'm gonna do what I've done for all these, right? Um, I'm just gonna basically go in here. I'm gonna change some text. This is more of a listing, right? So <clears throat> maybe I want to, you know, not have uh, Jamie's face, right? I can have my name here. So let me just go ahead and I maybe put my logo or my, 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 my business name here. Um, maybe I put like a little description call to action. Um, my picture, I can add that here. So let me go ahead and add this picture. Oh, 
he looks excited. So I'm going to add that. I like the interior here. It shows the interior really well. So I wouldn't put offer that. I'd probably get rid of this text because it's irrelevant. And um, I'll say just finished. Or maybe just remodeled or something like that. So I can move this text by dragging it there. Um, this may be the address, but there isn't going to be an address. And maybe I'll have like a call to action down here that says, if you love the photos you see above, imagine what your kitchen and home would look like. All right, so um, that is pretty much a super simple business flyer. I could go ahead and I can, I can uh, print this out so I can go ahead and download this. If I wanted to get fancy, I could use print. I could use Canvas print system. Um, this is something that I talked about in the business card tutorial. That's super uh, convenient, right? You can choose the number that you want. Say I want 50 flyers, I want 100. Get 100 flyers for 60 bucks delivered straight to my business, my house. I could change the finish if I want to do a gloss or uncoated finish. Um, I can do a front and a back. In this case, this is only a front. And it's an eight by five by 11, you know, basically a sheet of paper size flyer that I can go hang around my neighborhood. I can give out at events. Um, and this is a great way to promote my business and it's all done in Canva, ladies and gentlemen. How about that? There you have it, ladies and gentlemen seven ways to level up your service-based business with Canva using things like logos, websites, newsletters, and even social media posts. We've covered it all. And if you like this video and you got any value out of it, I have one request and that is that you subscribe and like this video so you can spread that love around and also share it with a fellow service-based business owner because you know it's hard out there doing what we do we need support and if you want to check out more videos just like this one make sure you check out this playlist here where i dive deeper into more things that you can use canva for in your business it's a jungle out there and this stuff helps